morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. Good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. So it is 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm opening up this vlog super early because my plans for today are to be very 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 productive because this is Lynn Mauricio's like long day at work he had to be at work at four and he's working till four so he's working a 12 hour trip today so my goal is to film my second trimester like recap video for YouTube I have four more days left in the trim in the in the second trimester but i'm gonna go ahead and film it now just to get it out of the way i'm also going to film a second trimester must-haves video and i'm also probably going to be filming a clean with me video because our house needs to be cleaned really really bad and i want to get those three videos filmed today and hopefully have them edited and ready for days that i don't have vlogs so they're like filler videos I've wrote down also other ideas to have like an updated morning routine and a night routine and those things like that. Um, but those will be like filmed throughout um, hopefully the next like two weeks to have like just a bunch of filler videos. And then I also have um, a Q&A planned. So I'll be asking you guys for questions soon. Um, I am currently working on a 30 day challenge and it's not going to be um just fitness related it's going to be like life related um i saw something similar on tiktok that someone had created one but i wasn't a huge fan of the layout and the challenges that were involved so they kind of go off of um the wellness chart and if you guys know you have like mental physical intelligence um finance like there's just a bunch of different things in the wellness chart like different categories so my goal is to create 30 days worth of challenges they're going to be small challenges nothing too crazy i'm going to do them um and i was thinking i could offer it to you guys and you guys could do it alongside with me if you're interested the only thing is that i will have to like upload it to um like etsy or something so that you guys can um download it and that will just be the easiest way to download it so i'll have to put on etsy for like two dollars or something like that um just so that it gets like it pays for itself basically because etsy does take money from each transaction that you make on there so i haven't decided how i'm going to release it um i guess i could release it as like a free pdf but it's taking me a lot of time so i do want to make a small amount of income from it but i don't want it to be like 20 dollars. like the one that i saw was like 50 dollars, and i was like for 30 days of small challenges like no thank you like i know it probably took you some time to work and do it but at the same time like that's a lot 50 dollars for that but anyways i am about to start editing um yesterday's vlog and hopefully that will go up today sometime but um I'm just really tired <laughs> i feel super um i got the flu shot two days ago and that's the first time i've ever gotten the flu shot i got the flu shot because i had to uh, have it in order to give birth at the hospital i'm giving birth at like my doctor like, requires it so i got it and i got super super sick that night and I was about to go to the emergency room because I felt so lethargic and nauseous and I was having really bad Braxton Hicks contractions and I was like, this is not good. But I ended up falling asleep. Like I wanted to see if I could like, this sounds really bad, but like sleep it off. And I was able to sleep it off. And when I woke up in the morning, she was moving and you know, I just felt fine and she had moved as much as she usually does so I decided to just not worry about it and if it was to come back I would get where I would start to worry about it but I honestly like I said it didn't come back and I feel fine now so I'm not too worried about it I just finished filming my second trimester recap video so I'm about to start editing that and probably get it out right now um so I'm gonna work on that I'm still waiting for Mauricio to come home. It's only 12 o'clock. I still have like four more hours, but hopefully it flies by. I really just want him to be home. I hate being home alone, but 
it is what it is he has to work Mauricio gets home in about an hour and 20 minutes or so um he gets off in like an hour and it takes him like 10 minutes to get home or something like that but I'm about to empty the dishwasher and put another load of dishes in there and clean the kitchen a little bit before he gets home um, so that he doesn't have to worry about it because he will do them if I don't do them. So I'm going to go ahead and do them real quick. Since we found out about Lilia's kidneys, I've handled it really well, um, trying not to freak out or um, like make something of it that it possibly isn't. So I've done really good at just like not thinking about it and just thinking she's healthy and not thinking anything's wrong. But the last couple days, um, have been really hard leading up to our appointment. Our appointment's tomorrow morning. And I just have really, really, really bad anxiety of it for that appointment. Um, I... It's been, like, eating me up. And I, I just... I guess I've been ignoring my feelings of that it, she could possibly have something wrong with her kidneys that like the knowing that tomorrow they could tell me she does is like eating me up alive. So yesterday me and Mauricio tried to get me out of the house to stop thinking about it because I was really paranoid all day yesterday. You know, I was like, maybe we, should, maybe we should just call the doctor and see if they can see me tomorrow. Like, I'm, I just like, you know, explain to them that, you know. But then I kept thinking to myself, like, if I do that, they'll have to cancel someone else's appointment. And that's not fair for the other person. Um, I should wait until my appointment date. So, we ended up going to TJ Maxx and we um, just kind of shopped around a little bit. Um, more so I did because Mauricio was getting his hair cut but um, I got this cute little calendar from DJ Maxx while I was there and I also got us some floor cleaner because we need to clean our floors like really bad and um, a mat for us to work out on because you know it's concrete and laminate in here so we needed something and then i also found this super cute outfit for lilia this is a six to nine months because it's a little bit warmer um so i need it in a bigger size and to me it actually looks like a um almost a 12 month size so this is disney baby 
and I'm obsessed with Disney, so I got that. And that really helped me a little bit to get my mind off of it. And then we got um, sushi for dinner um, at a place we haven't tried. We just got it and um, came home and ate it because, I don't know. It was just like a really rough day for me. And I feel like last night as well, I couldn't sleep because of it. So I'm just going to try to get through today and tonight. And luckily Mauricio gets off at 2, 30-ish, like around that time. Um, so we can do something tonight. I mean, I think we're just gonna stay home, but at least he'll be here because me being by myself just like eats me up alive. But that's why um, I didn't finish vlogging yesterday's because I just had a really, really bad day. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog and post it for you guys. Work on editing and posting it. Um, this vlog was supposed to be happy because I reached a big goal of mine, but I'm just worried. Like it is still a good video and I'm just worried. That's all I can say. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.